hi guys and welcome to billing system developed using access so let me show you guys how this works see the data that I have in here is officially stored on the table as you can see and we can always come in here and just click on new enter new data there if we say let's say we want four milk and there is automatically added let's go for coffee five of those bread let's say about nine beans maybe two latte one about five of those and espresso let's say two well no one wants espresso see that change to zero there but you can see what's happening is as we enter our data it's automatically calculated in there and the same thing apply to the total cost of items okay and here we have a calculator if you want you can use that calculator to check whatever you want to check the choice is yours okay so what I'm going to do now is we can save we can go for previous or oh, next previous and so on and save as well let's see this data that I've just entered on the work worksheet so let's close that and reopen it come back in here close and let's double click on it to reopen it as you can see that is the data that I've added so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into access development environment and we put one of these together we can exit or we can just say no you don't want to exit click on exit yes save, save changes there we go so I'm going to just minimize that and start a new project entirely so let's come here let's save that as billing system and click on create there we go you see this table let's right click on that table and save that table I'm just gonna enter in there bills yeah that would do there and I'm going to right click on this and let's go to design view now the first thing I want to do is you see that will become my product ID and the product ID I'm going to leave that as auto number now the first item is going to be milk and this very milk I'm going to make that number because you just need to enter how many things of milk you want and so on now let's go straight to the lookup here to change some properties in there click on lookup or on the display control I'm going to change that to combo box and where we have source type rule source type I'm going to change that to value list and inside our value list I'm just going to enter about let's go for maybe about 10 or or more I'm going to go for about 15 so let's say 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay I have 15 numbers in there that can be selected right that's fine and that is that so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to come back to general here you see where we have default value I'm going to enter zero in there okay so the milk default value that you guys will see is going to be zero okay so if I cl right click on it and let's click on display save that that's what you get you see the default value is zero so let's go back to design view 
now right underneath here I'm now going to create another field name and I'll just call that cost of milk in the case of cost of milk here that will become calculate and that will just be square bracket milk and we just multiply that by whatever the cost of milk might be so I'm just gonna make that our place is about one pound 20 25p that's the cost of milk I'm gonna click on OK there we go now the next field I'm going to enter and the next field oh hold on you see this where we have a cost of milk there's one thing we need to do in there see let's go back in here and we just have to make sure that we select result type the result type in this case I want it to be currency okay make sure that is done and let's look here there's nothing to do here and that is fine result type is currency now the next field that is going to be coffee and that's going to be number as well there I can just copy the numbers that I have in here let's copy all of that so you have 1 to 15 as well so let's come back to the lookup of the coffee change that to combo box and where we have roll source I enter the value I copy the roll source type that is going to be value list okay now go back to general see where we have the default if you guessed that's going to be zero now underneath here create another field that we will call cost of coffee and cost of coffee is going to be calculate the data type so enter the same formula for that coffee multiply that by 1.85 there and result type change the result type to currency that is fine the lookup nothing is done in on the lookup now let's do the same thing for maybe let's go for bread and in here and we'll have cost of bread as well so copy paste there and here that is going to be number let's copy the number that we have in here come in here change this to combo box and road source type value list rule source 1 to 0 to 15 and the default value make that 0 that's good now cost of bread I'm going to change that to calculate so that is going to be square bracket bread let's multiply by 0 0.75 click on OK and change the result type change that to currency now let's enter maybe a few more items I'm going to go for beans alright we have beans in there and the cost of the beans as well beans here is going to be number and that very number we change that to let's copy numbers again 
copy that now go to the lookup and change display control to combo box and here where we have row source type we're going to change that to that and underneath paste the value 0 to 15 and go back to general the default value will be 0 that's fine now let's come into the cost of beans change that to calculate and beans is going to be as follows so let's multiply that by maybe two pound thirty that should be a square bracket there click on ok and the next one is going to be latte and latte is going to undo that latte is going to be number and underneath here change this to combo box and place that in there change this to value list and the default will be zero now cost of latte cost of latte data type is going to be calculated field there we go no that's latte multiply that by two points there 54 all right that's taken care of now change the result type to currency that is good now let's take care of the last one I'm gonna call that espresso espresso is going to be number and look up change that to combo box and the role source type change the role source type to value list and in here enter 0 to 15 now underneath here I'm now let, let's see 0 to 15 let's go back to general and change that to 0 the default and right underneath here I'm going to enter cost of of the cost cost of espresso and change that to calculated field and in here we just enter espresso multiply that by two point eight two point three eight there we go and change the result type to currency brilliant all done okay that's fine now so I'm gonna right click and just save that and just a quick run around to make sure they all have the right properties in them especially the numbers right okay that looks good and let's see the calculates um, we have currency currency no no currency here so we need to change that to currency there we go that's why you need to have just have a quick look around all right that is fine okay I'm going to add two more fields one of them that will calculate all of the item and the other one will calculate the cost of the item so I'm going to call it total number of items all right and below it is going to be total cost of items there we go and for 
the both of them this is going to be calculated field as well where right there and the field is going to be let's start with the milk that is it so square bracket milk close that plus the next one is going to be coffee okay followed by bread plus beans that is correct plus latte and espresso now yeah there we go so I'm just taking care of the calculation for that there and I'm just gonna copy that I just want to show you guys what I've added up there so I'm gonna paste that and the notepad so that you guys can see it properly that's my calculation on notepad so minimize that click on ok now let's repeat the same thing for the total cost of items come right down select calculated field I'm gonna paste all of that in there the only bit that I need to add to it will be cost of so that's gonna be Cost of there we go. So we'll copy that and repeat the same thing for the other ones. Paste space. Let me have beans here. Latte. And espresso. There we go. So I'm gonna copy that as well and click on OK. Let's paste that on my note. That's it right there. Look at that. Okay, I guess you guys can see that. So it's not there's no big deal about it, it's quite easy to follow. So let's change that so that you see it all properly there okay let's minimize that now one thing that we've left out is for the number of item we're not going to change anything there more than we just need maybe just specify integer or you can enter long integer as for the cost of item we need to change that to currency select currency and that is it done Okay, so if I right click and save and uh, let's view it now. So we can select anything in here and the value should be displayed automatically. Look at that. Okay. All right, so that is fine. And as you can see, it's telling me I have 10 in there, and that is the cost. Okay, that is fine. Save that. And that is the very first part of this tutorial. Okay. With the second part, we will start work with the form. So I'm going to call it the end of the first part of this tutorial. See you guys shortly.